I am Shelley Bratton. I work at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and I lead our um, program for National Public Health Institutes. We help countries develop CDC-like organizations and I've been working globally for about six years now, um, but started at CDC in policy and working on infectious diseases. What we have found is that sometimes NPHIs struggle with what are the most critical functions, where are their gaps, and how do they address those gaps. And so the idea behind the stage development tool is it helps them assess current functioning, identify what their gaps are, but also prioritize the activities they, um, they would like to begin to address those gaps and really thinking um, again, where can we have the most impact? You know, one way to think about the stage development tool, especially when we think about prioritization and being able to direct limited resources to the areas in most need, is really when you think about a household budget. Everyone has a limited household budget and we have to determine what the priorities are in the budget. And in order to do that, you need to define what's most important, um, where your gaps are and how you're going to address those gaps. How are you going to make ends meet, essentially? And um, while the stage development tool is not a financial tool, it certainly leads to work planning that leadership can then say, okay, we're going to direct resources to this priority area. At the end of the day, it's about less disease and less death. And so um, for National Public Health Institutes, again, in these low resource settings especially, but even in, in wealthier countries, there's still limited funding. Um, there's always more need than you'll have funds for. And so identifying um, the needs that are most important. I mean, it's really looking, we've worked with countries who came up with 75 priorities and we've said, okay, within those priorities, you need to prioritize because you will not be able to address them all in the first year and the second year. You can have long-term vision, but this is really thinking, okay, what can we do now? What will have the most impact? What will help the most people, lessen the most disease, save the most lives?